Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori joins us now. But before we get to our items today, Dr. Lori, we understand that you're involved with a major find. It's about to go up for auction. Yeah, actually, in 2019, I appraised the first, the 2007 first generation iPhone, and it was in its original sealed case, and I appraised it for um, someone who was on a television show with me. And um, it's now going up for auction. And what's interesting about it, well, I'm not affiliated with the auction house, and the seller didn't get back in touch with me to say, hey, do you want to update your, your actual appraisal? I appraised it in 2019 for $5,000. It's now worth closer to $25,000. Wow. And it talks about innovation innovation with uh, everyday objects so the iphone in 2007 that first generation one which is 15 years old you know and 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 steve jobs was holding it up of course it was very very iconic it was this big change it's changed all our lives yeah. anytime you have an innovation like that in original pure condition value goes way up so it's an exciting it's an exciting appraisal i've, I've had a lot of exciting appraisals but that one was kind of cool with respect to technology and of course contemporary culture and Is it's it, still in the box unused right still in the box yeah. sealed and unused okay because so i have some old used. iphones in a drawer i think yeah yeah <laughs> not, not the same thing <laughs> not the same thing not at all not yeah, at all but cool okay. yeah. they were they were expensive i mean they're still expensive so i it's hard to believe that they purchased something like this and then we're like, you know what, I'm just not going to use right, it. Right, well, right. <laughs> yeah, and the provenance is interesting because actually she worked for a particular company that was promoting them. And at that point, who cared about an iPhone, yeah. you know? But yeah. this is what you're starting to see. So anytime there's an innovation, something new, something, you know, cutting edge, state of the art, if you can afford to keep it in pristine condition and not use it, uh, 15 years later, it's going to be worth something. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to our items today. We're going to start uh, with a doll that was sent in by Lisa. Yeah. So this particular doll is made by Kenner, uh, made by Mattel, excuse me, not Kenner, made by Mattel, but it's a Ken doll. So it's a Ken doll in the Barbie and Ken, you know, line made by Mattel. And it is the Scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz from 1999. It has the original box. Hey, did you have a favorite from The Wizard of Oz? I liked Toto. Yeah, I mean, oh, who could be mad at Toto? Yeah, who could argue with that? Yeah. All right, yeah. so this is in the box, never been used, and it's from 1999. That's right, that's right. It's a collectible, and I believe that it was one of a series, so you could get, as you said, the Tin Man, and you know, the, the Lion, and Glinda, the Good Witch, and the whole deal, Dorothy. Okay. Um, Toto was with Dorothy. She didn't have, Toto didn't have like their own toy, which I think is, I think that's lousy. It's a travesty. Yes. Okay, Toto well, deserves his own spotlight. What'd you say? I, 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 I said, you know what? I, I said $65. I said $250. $40 is what it's worth. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Even as a if collectible. If they had the whole set together, they'd all go up in value a little yeah, bit. Yeah. That's okay. what I was thinking too. All yeah. right, uh, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Dr. Lori and I were thinking the same thing. All right, hey, a planter sent in by Nancy is our next item. Oh, I love Heather Abraham. I'm sorry. She's hilarious this morning. <laughs> planter, ceramic, uh, uh, cobalt blue glaze. Uh, it dates to the late 1900s. It's rather big. It's stoneware. I mean, it's not my favorite that people have sent in. And people go, I can't believe Dr. Lori just said she didn't like my planter. Nothing against your planter. <laughs> but in terms of quality, if you look at the top, you can see it's kind of wavy. If you look at the striations in the middle of the piece, it's really done pretty quick and dirty, as they say. It's pretty quick. Uh, so I'd like to see a little bit more time taken with the glaze and the application of the glaze for quality, because I'm always trying to teach you how to look for quality. Okay. All right. Um, based on some of the things that you have said. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm lowering my evaluation. All right, what did you say? Mm -hmm. I said $60. I said $45. $45 is what it's worth. Wow. You said 45 yeah. So I hit the nail on the head? Oh, all That's right. Great. And we're tied up as we go into the last one. <laughs> all right, last one is Quality a chair is sent in Quality by Pam. Hi, Pam. Thanks for sending them in. Thanks, everybody, for sending them in. This is a Jacobean chair. So the Jacobeans, of course, um, early northern Europeans, you're seeing these pieces. And this has those scrolled arms, you know, at the end, they look like a scroll. And they have what's called barley twists on both sides of the back splat. 
It has red leather seat and back splat um, upholstery. It's solid hard wood. This particular piece actually came from Yugoslavia in the Jacobean style. It's from the early to mid 1900s. It's quite large. It's, it's an oversized chair. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. So, so it's not part of a set. It's just a chair nope. by itself. Yeah, it's just a, a what you would call an armchair. Some people call them captain's chairs, but technically this is not a captain's chair. Um, but this is an armchair. It's in the Jacobean style, but it was apparently, according to Pam, it was made in Yugoslavia. I okay. Feel like this is a timeout chair. I, it could be a timeout time chair. chair. It's a very fancy timeout chair. I said 125. I went higher than that. I said 400 because I just think it's very unique. $150. Ooh, Heather Abraham takes the cake. I win this week. <laughs> I will take it. And you and Ron can just sit there with your inside <laughs> jokes. We don't have any inside <laughs> jokes. Someone's paranoid. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lori. Congratulations, Heather. Congratulations, you. you winner. <laughs> And we want to say thank Bye, you Dr. to everyone Lori. at home, too, for sending us your pictures. If you'd like to send yours to Dr. Lori, email us at pizzl at kdka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.